Hey Brush Monkeys, welcome back. Um, so a couple of weeks ago we did an episode on blood. So now we're going to do an episode on bone. And I have a set of three Reaper Bones Skeleton Axemen here. And what I'm going to do is I've got two different products. I've got the Citadel Color Contrast Skeleton Horde paint that I just bought yesterday. And then here I've got the stuff that I mixed up who knows how many years ago. Um, I did this when I was a kid and I did a lot of other skeletons and uh, so I put together this bone wash to make it look like old old bone that had been dug up out of the ground. And what it is is, uh, I know you can't see the label here, but it's four parts brown ink, three parts yellow ink, one part orange ink, and one part bra uh, black ink. And uh, I don't recall if this was the Citadel inks that it, so I would have mixed this back in the early mid 90s or if this was like further back when I was a kid and did it with the uh, like actual artist inks. But we're going to take a look at, I remember this being a really great thing and I remember not buying the contrast paint for a long time because this worked out so well and I had it for so many years, it's still viable. It's, you can hear it's got an agitator ball in it now and it's still rolling around in there but I wanted to try it out in comparison with the Citadel contrast to see which one looks the best so I've got these three skeletons and they're primed with just army painter basic white primer so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and slop the stuff on there and see how it works um, start up and then uh, I'm gonna put this guy aside for now <laughs> so we're just gonna start with those two one's gonna be the contrast guy one's gonna be my own bone wash guy and uh, we'll see which one works the best and whichever one looks the best we will use on the rest of the skeleton so we'll just start out kind of slapping that on there and you can see right away that the it's kind of old and it's not sticking real well on some of the this is my homebrew formula and uh, there are places that it's not sticking real great to the primer which I'm not sure what that's about but at the same time it's looking like pretty good Good bone there's a slight kind of greenish tone to it and I'm not sure where that comes from but like I said this is an old mix so who knows but the idea behind this behind doing this with the inks was kind of the same as with the contrast paints that it would shade into the crevices it would create its own highlights and it would uh, possible I may have touched that someplace maybe that's what's not so anyway the the idea was similar to the contrast paints that it would create its own shades and highlights and uh, and be kind of a one-step thing for painting skeletons Um, I'm just trying out an experiment here where I it's entirely possible that I may have touched it the figure in places after it was primed and so it's the skin oils that are preventing the paint from adhering to the model and so I'll just kind of wipe that off with the sponge there And then reapply it and see if that works. There we go. All right, so don't know if you can see that or not, but wow, that really, really washed out. Bear with me a second here.
Okay. Well, there's not a lot I could do about that. Um, try to try to shade it a little bit. Now you can kind of see how that works. It's got a nice nice aged bone look to it. It looks pretty good. So going to go ahead and rinse that off and try the contrast on the other guy here. away I could tell the contrast paint looks much more um, much more brown kind of brownish orange it's uh, almost a flesh tone color really much more of a dug about the dirt kind of color Much more of an aged bone kind of color, not so much a dug up out of the dirt. I feel like my mix has more of a dug up out of the dirt kind of look to it. But it does look like Citadel skeletons, the way they paint them with the Ashabti bone and uh, screaming Skull. I really should have spent some more time cleaning the flashlights off these guys. Alright. So that's what the... You can get them up at there. Camera wants to focus. It doesn't want to focus. So that's what the... Uh, Citadel bone looks like. <coughs> so side by side, <coughs> excuse me, side by side, um, there's more of a dirt look to this one, uh, more of a um, just got up out of the ground, kind of old, old bone look to this one. This one has more of a, like not quite new bone, but certainly fresher bone look to it than the uh, the other one you know I've got two other skeleton things that I was going to do this with so let's try another experiment let's mix let's see let's go with two drops of my mix with two drops of the contrast and put that on the third guy see what that looks like because I am nothing if not experimental with my shiz Okay, well first and foremost, let me just say that it appears that mixing any kind of ink with the contrast paints will automatically completely overwhelm the contrast paints. Because there's very little to the brownish color that I saw in... spot where I touched it again I 
There's very little of the brownish color that I saw on the contrast skeleton. And quite a lot of the yellowish. Well, hang on, let me let me look at them side by side here. Okay, if I'm being completely honest, I gotta say, side by side, the uh, mix wins out. This one seems a little bit. I, I like it. It's old and dirty and and shaded and highlighted well, but it's a little bit on the yellow side. This one uh, seems to have shaded and highlighted well. It looks a little too clean to me, like a little too fresh bone kind of look. But it, um, it seems to have done its job well enough. But it's a little too kind of tannish brown. This thing, the mix of the two, looks like it's got a nice mix of brown and brown and the yellow. It's not quite as yellow as the yellowed one. It's not quite as brown as the contrast. It looks old and dirty and kind of just what you'd expect from an ancient skeleton. So I'm kind of digging the mix of the two. So let's go with that. Let's go with the winner is the mix of the two. I'm going to let those dry. Alright, so I'm back and the uh, skeletons are all done. I've put tufts on their base, painted the bases, finished them up, the whole nine yards. Uh, they're matte sealed and they're good to go. Um, and as you can, as you may or may not be able to tell on this, this is the one that was uh, just my ink mix over a white undercoat. This is the one that was the Citadel Contrast Skeleton Horde over a white undercoat. And the winner, I think, is this one right here. I really like how this one turned out. This is the mix of the two. It's probably like two drops of the ink mix and two drops of the contrast paint painted over white. And I really like how that came out. It's nice and dirty. It's old old bone, uh, self-highlighting, self-shading. It's everything I, everything I would want in, a, in an undead horde and he looks really, really good. Now, I had some other skeletons skeleton figures that I wanted to try the stuff out on but I didn't I had these guys Zenithal Prime they weren't just primed white so as you can see the, this is the contrast paint over the Zenithal Priming which came out quite a bit darker than I intended it to but it still looks pretty good so I think I might have frosted just a little bit but uh, he looks really dark but he looks pretty good too so I'm, I'm gonna keep that this one was the um, was the ink mix over Zenithal priming and for some reason I don't know if it's that I didn't shake it well enough or what but the ink mix actually came out green <laughs> on this one there is no green ink in it I don't know why it did that but for some reason when I painted it on over the Zenithal priming it, it looked green. So I waited until it dried and then I dry brushed it with uh, Citadel's Tyrant Skull. And that that brought out all the little bone details and everything and made it look more like skeletons and less like, I don't know what the green came out looking like, but it was it was not great. So, so there you have it. Um, the winner of the big experiment is... And I will read this recipe off for you again. Um, it's the bone wash that I, I made up myself. And it's four parts brown ink, three parts yellow ink, one part orange ink, one part black ink. And I mix that with... Uh, what did I do with it? 
see I put things away where I can find them and then I can never find them there we go <laughs> Citadel's contrast skeleton horde <laughs> let that be a lesson to you never organize anything because then you lose stuff so there you go mix uh, equal parts that ink wash and the Citadel contrast paint and you get a nice dirty old bone look that's perfect for your skeletons and there you have it so thanks for watching and I will see you next week bye hey brush monkeys uh, Tom from flying monkey studios here if you like what you see click like if you uh, want to find out when uh, new videos get posted click subscribe comment below on what you want to see on future videos visit our patreon site for uh, lots of ways that you can support me in doing what I do you can also visit our Instagram and Facebook pages to see all the miniatures that I paint on this channel and see how you can get your hands on one of your own uh, so thanks a lot for your time and thanks for watching my videos and I will see you guys later bye